Um, I saw it on Netflix and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna read it, what the heck. Vampire Diaries. To all the boys I loved. Teen thrillers that I read. Um, there's something like a guilty pleasure that I have. Uh, and I am the in-home behavioral services director. So I joined Gondara five years ago as a behavior management monitor. There was a job posting that I was interested about um, on human behavior and monitoring youth's behavioral challenges and um, I got that position. It was my second job out of undergrad and it was here that I really found my passion for work in human behavior. Um, Gondara afforded uh, to me the opportunity to pursue a um, master's degree while still working. And then from there, they helped me with attaining my license and were able to pay for my licensing fees and my exam fees. So they've really been supportive to me um, with how I wanted to grow professionally. And they've helped me navigate and guide me through that process. Gondara does a lot of things well, but I think what sets us apart and what we do great is we're always genuinely invested in all of the employees to some degree, whether it's uh, making sure that they're taking care of their personal life um, or developing professional beings. Um, we do a great job about emphasizing taking care of oneself as a means to be able to provide to our families. Um, I also think that we do a lot of appreciation events to show our staff that we really do care for them, whether it's um, paying for ice cream when the ding dong truck passes around or having us cook breakfast for them one day. Um, even short things that we do like bonus tickets for just catching someone doing good throughout the day, being kind to one another. So, it's just a really great culture, a really great community to work for. Oh, there are a lot of best parts of my day. I try and be really social with employees, ask them about their children, activities that they're doing, and something recently, um, I became a certified yoga instructor, so Gandhara has allowed me to offer yoga classes to employees as part of our wellness initiative, and it's a great way to get people to really focus on their own mental wellness and take time out of their day to give back to themselves. When I'm not working, uh, I love to read um, fiction. Um, I love, I travel a lot, so I listen to a lot of Audible books as well. Um, and right now, and for the foreseeable future, I love to practice yoga. It's part of my daily practice, meditation and mindfulness, um, which is a huge part of the work that we do, just being present in order to uh, support our employees, but also take care of ourselves because we do do work that can be really taxing on us. Mm -hmm. So I'm currently reading Bernie Brown's um, Dare to Lead. Um, that's the best book so far. Um, she's a social psychologist and she speaks about how being an effective leader and she talks about things that we traditionally don't talk about when it comes to leadership like empathy, um, vulnerability, and I think that's a huge part of um, human behavior and sometimes it gets lost when you are in an administrative or leadership role.